videos featuring a gaming component? Whoa. Hey, fellas. How you doing? Um, today we're going to play a video game. This video game I'm kind of excited for, because it's a video game that I, uh, have played before and tracked down once upon a time when it was rare, before it got 12 re-releases. Um, I tracked it down back when it was a Wii game that was still at $50, like, um, 50 to $60 after the, uh, like, years after the Wii U had come out. It was, it was a very hard game to get a hold of. Today we're playing... Xenoblade Chronicles, um, a game that I spent all that time trying to track down. Bought again for $50 as a Wii game, um, and then only played about a quarter of. Holy fuck, Cam, get down, there's a blonde twink holding a hand grenade behind you. Toad's not blonde. Join, join the gamers. Join the gamers. He's gonna fall. Um... <laughs> how you pals doing tonight? Um... So... I'm gonna hop into the game in a second, but um... Right now I'm obligated... By my definitely existing Twitch contract... Um... To tell you... That um... It's September! Meaning, if you have ever considered subscribing to this channel before you can do so for I think half off and I still get just as much as a normal sub so that's a thing if you care that was gross and selly selly outy and I hated it so I'm never gonna do that again but <laughs> yeah oh my god yes yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles so glad I'm free to watch this in time welcome Raymond how you doing um I have a vague history with this game, but but short version is uh, I've played some of it. And that some of it that I played, I adored and was very close to calling this one of my favorite games like ever. Um, but I never finished it. So now I feel gross saying that. And uh, most of that like knowledge of the story of the, how the gameplay works, all that it's left me. So um, this is going to be a Mostly new experience. Oh wow, that's epic. Fuck Amazon. I concur. I very much concur. Speaking of the September things I said earlier, Donnie resubscribed for two months. Two months, baby. Let me replay that so that it can overlap the text. I just wanted to see that. Still haven't fixed that. <laughs> I'm doing all right. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, played through a couple games uh, lately. Well, no, I actually, since you were here last, I only played Pac-Man World 2. A game I didn't really adore. Oh my god, it's a Jake. Hi, Kim. Hi, Jake. How you doing? Um, well, I don't see any reason to, uh, delay. I think we're gonna go ahead and jump into the game. If God created us in his image, does that mean he burps? We're gonna sit here for a couple seconds in silence. You people are going in timeout because of what Donnie just did. Okay, I think that's enough. Video game time. Where is it? Oh my god, epic sword. Sadly, I cannot be staying. I got German essay things due tomorrow. That's fair. That's fair. Go work on that. If I finish in a timely manner, I will rejoin later. Did you ever watch the the boy clip I made of you? Was it the clip you made last stream? I think I did. Pretty sure. This loading screen's taking a surprising bit. So, welcome to a neat title screen. I I, I weirdly like this title screen. Um, <laughs> it's just nice looking. This is the Mr. Lindemann game. It's the- Oh, he, he did he have a poster of this game? Did he? I didn't actually- I never associated Xenoblade with him. I'm an idiot. I just didn't remember that. Anyway. Xenoblade Chronicles. Definitive Edition. A game I already owned on the Wii, but rebought on Switch for the sole purpose of streaming it. Will I ever finish the Wii version? No, now there's no reason. <laughs> I would know that sword anywhere. So, 
Um. <clears throat> I like the song on this title screen. I don't think we're going to be hearing a lot of it because I doubt I'll be talking that long on the title screen. But I like the song. The song is very somber and then it's just good. And um, we also probably won't sit long enough for this to happen. But the cloud's going by. Um. And, and the, the, all the things happening on screen, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The sky gets darker and it like goes through the cycles of, of, uh, daytime slowly, but it happens. Um, let me first check options to see if there's anything I need to do. We'll see once we get into it, if I need to adjust the camera. I ended up watching the 06 fan dub, but I didn't know the plot. So it was probably better than if I knew the plot beforehand. There's... It's such a complex plot, but, or a complicated plot. Complexity and complicated are not the same thing, I would say. 06 has a very complicated plot and you didn't need to know a single thing of it. Goes through the cycles of daytime slowly. You mean like, I knew someone, SOMEONE! Yes, but not as slow. Fuck you, there's a time scale thing going on. Um, there's a, there's a different arrangements and uh, some remixes for the music. I don't know if I want to set to original or not. Original is the songs I, I know, but like, I don't know which one is considered better. For now, I'm going to keep it on the on the remixes. Um, not sure about these notifications yet. Fun fact, I've played this game a Wii before, but never got around to beating it this year on Switch, uh, till this year on Switch, and it ended up being one of my favorites now. Nice. Very nice. Let's hope that's what happens with me. Um, event scrolling. Set whether the d dialogue scrolls automatically during story events. Oh, so like, if I have to hit A to make the dialogue progress? I think so, just, just, uh, it, if I were playing this on my own, I'd leave it automatic, keep the flow going, but I think I'm gonna put it on manual here so I can stop if need be to commentate like I'm doing during the, uh, during the cutscenes. Uh, dialogue speed I already set to fast. Display, I'm not sure. Vibration. Yes. Cool. Well, so uh, this game also has an epilogue that was added in the Definitive Edition. I will almost certainly be playing through that at the end here. But, um, so this game is long. This game's a couple hours long. So I need to lay down some, some, some rules. I don't fucking, I'm, um, there's some info to share. So, oh, there's this guy. It's changing. It's neat. Um, so, this game's long. I will be playing it basically the way that I played the two other long-term games that I did, which were Breath of the Wild and uh, Knights of the Old Republic. And the way I did those was I played it for a bit, took a break, and then kept playing. There, it was not such a planned thing, and I ended up just taking, like, months-long breaks from the game. I'm gonna try not to do that with Xenoblade. I don't want to go for two months playing other games and, like, completely break up the flow of this playthrough. So, the current plan is to, every, like, three weeks or so, stop and play a shorter game as a break from this, because I know there's gonna be some people who, uh, you know would rather see me play a game other than Xenoblade Chronicles, and it's just unfortunate that Xenoblade Chronicles is an extremely long game. Um, so we will be taking breaks every so often. At least that's the plan. Um, so like, stop, play Mega Man 11, stop, play Super Mario Sunshine. S just some stuff that I'm thinking for the near future. Um, I underestimated how long it took for, for I, no, I underestimated how much I was gonna talk here. Um, so that's one thing. Um, What's the other thing? Uh, this will not be a 100% playthrough, which is not normal to most of my playthroughs. Um, pretty much all of them are 100% unless I specifically like hate the hate the completion aspect of a game. Here I would like to 100% it, but the quests are extremely repetitive and MMO-esque almost. So basically I'm just gonna be doing quests as I see fit. Um, a lot of them are stuff like Monster Quest 1, Monster Quest 2, and they're all fetch quests, basically. Even the named quests are like that. So, that's not to say there are no interesting quests in this game. That is to say, I'm not gonna be specifically, like, doing a certain number of quests. I'm just gonna be doing it as I see fit. And, um, if anyone's played this game before, um, and they have quests that they want to, um, like, as I encounter them, recommend, you should do this one please do chime in because I 
since a lot of the named quests are also fetch questy, um, there's not not gonna be a very easy way of telling which quests are gonna be the useful ones or not, or, or the interesting ones or not. The other thing about the quests in this game, and uh, this will be more evident once we get into it, is that quests complete automatically in general. You don't need to go report back to the quest giver. So if you're told to get 10 of these things, you don't have to return to the person with the 10 things. So that streamlines the process a lot and basically means I will be doing quests whether I intend to or not. Like it says, get these 10 things. I'm not gonna be seeking out those 10 things. I will probably naturally encounter those 10 things and then the quest will will end, like without me having to go out of my way. So it's got a very different approach to, game, to, to quests than like your typical RPG, I would say. Um, it's much more MMO-esque in that way. Um, and because of that, I appreciate that you don't have to return to the quest giver. But, uh, yeah, I think we should go ahead and start a new game. Uh, Todd Howard has entered the chat. Skyrim. Yeah. All right, let's enter. New game. Uh, there, this is a very cutscene heavy game, so please tell me where the audio needs to be. Like, if you can't hear the voice acting, or if... I'm t or or if I'm if I'm overpowering the voice acting or if it's overpowering me where things need to be in gameplay and cutscene Long ago the world was nothing more than an endless sea cloaked in a boundless sky reaching as far as could possibly be imagined Then two great titans came into existence. I vaguely remember this aspect, which basically explains the whole existence of the world, but I don't remember the, the details that much. The Buddy, you gotta swing that sword faster. That was slow. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't tell the expert what to do. Clearly, he knocked a giant chunk off of him. The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Oh. Eons have passed. Now, our timeless <laughs> until stretching across the remains of the Bionics is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Stab them with the guns. Get away from me! So, uh, whenever I first saw, like, footage of this game, I assumed it was, uh... Maybe I should wait. I should wait. Advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. I have trich. Uh oh! <laughs> Hi, Thomas. We've had no gameplay yet. Young man. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah. Where are you That's right now? Idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! 
We may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Okay, but Dunban, I feel like if the others wanna You're wanna live, they should have that opportunity. By just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. I'm sure he's 100% accurate there. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Oi, you two. We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do you, without those? You're sentencing this man to it's death. It's approaching. It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we got. We'll give them a warm homs welcome. Acknowledged. Oh, that's what they're called. That's right. I forgot about that. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. I mean, I don't blame you. I'll have to use Dunburn as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's bad. Uh, it that was not even like two seconds and and it decided yeah this is the timeout this is when it goes dark his eyes <laughs> when did this become halo yeah i was saying during the cutscene um i uh didn't know much about this game obviously when i first saw footage of it so hold on i guess i should pay attention to the tutorial target enemy to display the just the battle palette yes select fight icon with a yeah okay i knew that much um this is just a this is a tutorial section, pretty obviously, to uh, explain how the game works. You attack, uh, you attack automatically. Its battle system is uh, probably Kodor is probably the closest game I've played to it. Uh, attacks actions basically just happen, and you can choose whether to do like an epic action or not. It's not like Kodor. It's just that the automatic attacking like. Kodor is the best thing I can liken it to that I've played. So, um, you move with the left stick, you use the D-pad to go through the attack reel here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy just die. And then here, Buster! Increased damage! Whoa! It's kind of too fast-paced for me to explain the battle mechanics right now, but, um, during the, uh, cutscene, I was saying, when I first saw footage of this game, it was, like, Shulk running around with his friends. It was absolutely not, um, absolutely not the, uh, robots and soldiers fighting each other. Um, didn't, didn't know that was a thing. Just had absolutely no idea. I expected this setting to be a lot more, like, Zelda-esque, um... Where there's like limited uh, limited bits of technology, um, but it's mostly like medieval-ish. No, it's it's fucking. It opens on a massive fight with robots. This looks very similar to Star Wars: The Old Republic, the MMO. I I was saying earlier that this is uh probably the most MMO-esque I've seen a single-player game be. Um, I do like the first enemies you fight are big freaking robots. <laughs> yeah, like, you're dumped right into this super epic battle instead of, like, throwing you at, like, Goombas. <laughs> like, despite being a tutorial, like, it, 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 it tries to empower you from the start, I'd say. Roger, roger. Yeah, right now we only have, like, two things we can do, so, uh, two different arts we can use. So it's a pretty slow moving, well, fast moving, but hard to commentate over. There's not a lot of strategy I'm employing. Anyway. It's their main force. Looks like the Mechon are hell bent on taking us out. Goomba and Xenoblade. to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. Ah! Are we are we jumping back in? We're not, right? Because <laughs> that cutscene would be pointless then. <laughs> when would you step on him? 
Let me step on the mech on. Gee, who could have foreseen this? If this is a joke, it ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban? Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumban, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots. I'll just come and get the banana when everything's quiet down a bit. And things oh yeah, he fine. wants the sword. <laughs> Position. You are sorely mistaken. He's gonna get fucked. <laughs> Anime yelling. This has its fair share of it. <laughs> if this were a joke, it ain't funny. From the mistranslation. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that happened in the original. Was there an epic logo flash in the first version of the game? In the Wii version? One year later. I'm about to Amicon fucking die at the hands of big scary robots. Not, not funny. Didn't laugh. Batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's, it's Ray buckled. Star Wars. It's completely useless. Ugh. Relatable. Ray Windu. Why are they all British? Because that's because it was dubbed in the UK. <laughs> An M69! Oh my god, what's... <laughs> nice. Its armor would be perfect for making a shield. Nice. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... You're gonna rip your clothes. Right. There's a blur it's effect in there. It's just a crabble. It was using the mech on armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and topple it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dialogue, for telling me the game mechanics. Okay, so... Oh my god, he's a party member! Now we're Shulk and not Dunban! And now we're fighting the Goombas. As I said that earlier, I was thinking, wait, but that does still happen. So, where, is, is that a Crabble? Not a Crabby, right? When the HP gauge is depleted, the character will be incapacitated. Okay, we know how to use arts. But Shulk has different ones. Where did damn Daniel go? Dun- Dunban? <laughs> you cannot use the same art repeatedly after a set amount of time cooldown is complete. Okay, yes, everything has a cooldown. Using talent arts. 
Select the talent art icon to and press A to use it. Oh yeah, they, uh, everyone has like one specific art to them. Attack inflicts break. Okay, that's a debuff, but I don't know what it actually does. I think... Wait. Defeated enemies will drop treasure chests. Press A to take the loot. Topple may be inflicted. Oh. Break is... Okay, you have to do two things to inflict, inflict a status, I guess. I have to topple it, and then, or I have to use break on it, and then Ryan can topple it? Complicated JRPG mechanics. G Wizzlickers. Okay, Crabble Shell, Small Shell. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Update, tutorial added. The green ring stops you escaping. Defeat the monster to make the ring disappear. That's right, if you uh, fight, if you get into a fight, you can't just like leave, generally. You have to, I mean, you can. There's, okay, I think it's very specific. Like, there are certain situations where you can't escape, and then there are ones where you can just run, run away. I'm not totally sure. I think most of chance arts. What's a chance art? Okay, it didn't quite explain what it was. <laughs> just said there is, there are chance arts. Use aggro rings to help find the best position. So, Ryan's basically the tank. That's what they're saying, is, um, whoever the red ring is surrounding is the one who's being attacked, and, uh, I think generally who, uh, whoever is the aggro target is whoever is dealt the most damage to the enemy? There's a lot of mechanics I don't very, sp I don't specifically remember, so I should stop trying to explain them. Thanks, Ryan, that was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. Okay, Dad. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. <laughs> there are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks to you, we got it, Shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. Everyone? I'm more worried about you than the Shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. Stay where I can keep an eye on you. This scrap drive is excellent. Okay. Oh, wait, it's because it said you'll make a decent weapon out of it. Maybe I should pay attention to the dialogue. Like, yes, that's a weird exposition. -y. Here's the name of Ryan's weapon, but like, Shulk made it, right? Like watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash. S square mustache? Square stash. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Is there any non-Brit Bonger characters? Uh, not that I could think of, but I don't know everything about this game, obviously. Get these <laughs> these lines are recorded from UK actors in the UK, but this is like British people trying to do different British accents. <laughs> Switch the minimap to full screen by pressing the left stick. Okay. ZR to, to display the guidance panel in the bottom right of the screen, allowing you to check story memo. Camera controls. God, I forgot like how much they bombard you with tutorials here at the start. It's Tuesday, ain't it? Cannot save, save during battles and story events. You can save in most other situations. It does have auto save. Review tutorials at any time. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. Event theater. Oh, you can just watch the cutscenes. I don't think that was in the original. And you can change the time of day during them? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I guess cutscenes would look different depending on what time of day it is and what the weather is is like. That's pretty neat. Very weirdly specific, but neat. 
Um, so hit ZR and you just get to see what the story thing is like. And you can check active quests while still moving around. Okay, that's cool. And you can keep moving around with the full screen map. Huh. I don't remember any of this being in the, uh... I'm gonna kill this bunny. <laughs> I don't remember any of this in the original. That's a lot of really neat uh, quality of life features. So, what was I gonna say? Um, the, the weather thing is very interesting because uh, I remember... Okay, so the thing that... Um, the reason I uh, learned about this game in the first place was, surprise, surprise, Chugga Conroy did a very extensive, very completionist, very 100% playthrough of this game, and, um, because it is his favorite game of all time. And, uh, he took, like, pages and pages and pages of notes in advance on, like, how he specifically wanted to go about certain things. And one of the things that he took note of was, um what time of day he wanted it to be during each cutscene. So he straight up, like, paced out his gameplay and did things in a certain order so that the weather in every cutscene was fitting of whatever was happening in the scene. So, um, so, so that the, uh, weather and time of day would fit the mood. Um, I bet he, uh, screamed a lot when he realized that all of that Whenever this port came out and he realized all of that was for naught because um The game literally lets you replay the cutscenes under any weather or time of day I wonder if that's part of why they did it because it's like he was one of the main people who popularized this game in the West um, Latest additions to your collection can be registered in the Collectopedia Fill in a row or collect all the items in, in an area to receive a reward. Oh, yeah! Like, there are specific items you can get in every area, and, um... Damn, now that's dedicated. Yeah! I haven't watched the full playthrough. I only watched the first, like, three episodes, but... You put a lot of fucking work into that playthrough. I think he did it in 2015, and it remains his, um... Padia. It's like they want us to suffer. I think he did it in 2015 or so, and it remains his, um... Biggest, uh, biggest playthrough, both, both in terms of how much preparation he had to do, and, uh, just in terms of how long the game is. Uh, he says he's currently working on a playthrough that, uh, dwarfs how, how much preparation he had to do for Xenoblade. So that's epic. Welcome to God Save the Camp, where we exclusively talk about what other creators do. Creators. Okay. You may have noticed that these enemies aren't actually hostile to me, so I'm- I think from here on out, unless I see a new type of enemy, I'm just gonna skip them. Unless I'm, like, underleveled or anything. I don't think I will be, because this game gives you experience for everything. It's much more, uh, akin to, um... The way its experience works is much more akin to something like Fallout or Skyrim than it is, uh, something like Earthbound, where you just get experience for for fights. You get exper- you literally get experience, like it said, for collecting items in an area. It is very forgiving. Um, I don't think it intends you to stop and fight all these. Um, you get experience for discovering locations, um, there's quests everywhere. Um, Colony 9. Britishers, I think you mean Brittos. Burritos. God damn, we're gonna come up with new and entertaining ways to bully people from the UK, aren't we? <laughs> God, I hope so. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right. See you later. They did some updating to the graphics, but you can still tell that these are Wii models. <laughs> And that at its core, yes, it's a Wii game. Uh, change party and equipment. Okay, I am... I'm alone now! I had a terrible math quiz today. It wasn't hard, but it was really miserable on the technical side. Oh, God! What math class are you taking? I actually didn't... I don't think I ever... I think you've mentioned it, but I don't think I ever processed. Wait, you're taking a math class. <laughs> there's shops. Woohoo. They have an icon to show you that they're shops. 
So you can sell loot. <laughs> Sorted between exp inexpensive and expensive loot. <laughs> Press A to talk to anyone with an exclamation mark. Press Y to trade with some people. Story will progress even if you don't do any trading or complete any quests. Using these features may give you an advantage. Shocker. So yeah, you can... This game's definitely long enough that you can just, like, do just the story and not focus on quest. But I'm I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna focus on quests, as I said, but I'm just gonna do quests. I, I will be doing quests, God. Um, so that dotted line shows me the exact path I need to take to get to the... It's not just a quest marker, it's like, okay, you go this way and then this way and then this way. If it were something like Fallout, I would hate that, but, uh, this, like, is still at its core, like, a linear story. Location, Dunban's house. Oh. Neat. Look at this. That snot-nosed brother of mine! I said I'd play with him and he just ran off! Well, whatever. I could play by myself. Hmm. View relationships with the affinity chart. You have relations with, like, th this has something sort of like the reputation system, I think, from, uh, Fallout New Vegas and other RPGs where, like, you are graded on, like, how much a place likes you. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, terrible math quiz. We had to set up a camera to prove we weren't cheating, and the quiz was a downloadable document, and the Blackboard submit didn't work, so I did- Oh, God! I didn't collected Wedding Ring. Are red orbs quest items? Because the stuff I've been collecting have been blue orbs. You can tell if I'm opening a Chrome tab to Google how to do things by using the fucking webcam. Yeah, that's been surprisingly common. I've, I've seen people on the college subreddit talking about that. Oh, you know the soldier who keeps watching the residential district? She's my friend. She's been in the defense force longer than me. I should go out somewhere with her, have a little fun. Okay, that's just flavor text. There is, there will be exclamation points above everyone with a, with a quest. And, uh... Unlike most games, most people give you several quests, so I will have to sit here and talk several times to a lot of the people. We'd write our answers on, on paper! Yeah! He specifically requested a scanning of a PDF. Oh, God! Not everyone can scan things! Oh, God. Anyway, Marsha. Deary me, my grandsons are having quite the altercation, and now to get the upper hand, they're both in training. They're training to fight each other. That doesn't sound good. Have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? I certainly haven't. I do hope the younger of the two wins, though. He is my flesh and blood, after all. Wait, is the oldest, is this a blended family? Is the oldest not your? That's why I'd like someone to take him the biscuits I've made. It might encourage him to train harder. Take Marsha's biscuits to... Jiroque? Jiroque. You can decline quests. There is no point in declining quests. <laughs> I'm most grateful my legs aren't what they used to be, you see. Even getting to the residential district is awkward. I'll make you some biscuits. <laughs> Thanks. Make sure my grandson gets those biscuits, all of them, preferably. Okay, take him. Cool, do you have more quests? No. I think generally if they are a named character, they will only have the one quest. Maybe I'm wrong. Hi, Sonya. This takes sibling rivalry on a new level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna train for weeks to punch my brother in the face. Guy I'm talking to you said he loved Tool one minute into listening and is adding it to his play- Ha! <laughs> Good. Epic. We need to write our answer on paper. Not that there was much of a choice, though. It was easy. There was so much fucking shit I had to write. Yeah. There's a silver, silver lining. No, we had to scan a PDF of our paper and send that through Blackboard. You couldn't put work on paper and attach a picture to your answer seat. That's so complicated. Holy shit. Ah! God, Blackboard is just non-functional. I have no idea what that is. Good for nothing. Sun broke something very dear to me. It was all I had left to remember my husband by. Ouch. He passed away a mere year ago. Oh, he's such a spoiled little boy. Wait. That's the quest? Wait. Hi there. 
Mind trying to cheer him up a bit? Wait. I didn't accept it. Wait, is the quest? Oh, right here. God damn it. So, you don't have a quest. Hi, Colony 9 resident. Iconic character. Niece asked me to get you something cute. I wish I was better at finding stuff like that. Would you help me? Yeah, sure. Great, she'll be thrilled. Do you have more? No. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the shops just yet. <laughs> Is that a nop on? <laughs> Colony 9 resident. Just like a- just a, a sphere vibing. Blackboard's an ACC thing. Oh, okay. Well. They got destroyed one by one in the war. Now there's only one left. What's they? I mean, you're running a shop, but I can't buy anything from it. That said, he died. Chicken wings. Verdant blue calls on the beach near anti-air battery one. Can't stand the sight of those things. Nasty thing with those spiky horn bits. You'll take care of it, won't you? Okay, go kill a thing. Do you have more? I am remember- am I wrong? I remember in the Wii version, I sat and had like three to five conversations with each of these people. Okay. Hello. Hello. You know that big lump of metal sticking out of the western cliff? There are all kinds of machines in there we can never make, but you already knew that. Oh, you aren't the quest. I should be paying attention to what's above their head, not just what's on the mini-map. Why, can't, why the fuck they, can't they use Canvas or Google Classroom? They're so user-friendly, Google class, Classroom more so, but I at least tolerate Canvas. I got used to Canvas really quickly. I, I got used to Canvas, but I don't like it. Oh, good gracious, you won't believe what a silly fool I am. I've lost something I really need. Will you help me find it? Find the key. Okay. I knew I'd get you all fired up if I did my damsel in distress act, but I am a fool losing my door key. My fate is in your hands. Okay. I'm wondering if there's like a timer on- Oh! I think that's it! I think there's a timer on all the quests. Like, you can only get s timer. Not like you have to do them by a certain point, but you have to- Um... I can feel the power. To oh yeah, there are landmarks within the towns that you get things from too. Hey you, listen here a bit. Hey you! Hello there, youngin. I got something that might interest you. Rather, something to tell you. It's about this here furnace. When creatures die, they leave aether crystals behind. Everyone knows that, don't they? Aether particles in the body are. Who said stuff's too complicated? Just remember that creatures drop aether crystals when they die. But I haven't gotten to the best part yet. Ready? Don't be shocked. This furnace compresses ether crystals and removes impurities. You use it to make ether gems. What? No reaction? Hmm. Kids these days, you don't know how amazing this thing is. You can use the furnace to make- you said that. You've got the powers of ether crystals, but highly condensed. Those ether gems can give you all sorts of powers. They're great for use in the home or by the defense force. Same energy as like Amazon having military contracts. Just put them in weapons or armor with slots. What? That's not much of a reaction. Never mind, it'd probably be quicker for you to try it. Which is why I'm gonna keep talking forever. So you can use gems to like add on to your existing equipment. Um, I don't re what if Eggman was British? Get a load of this! Some hand bunnets just outside the commercial district would be very dangerous if they got inside the colony. Go defeat two of them. Hi there. Go pummel some beach crabbles for me. See, I had to talk to him multiple times. They mill about on the beach near the commercial district. It's not safe for kids to play with those critters around. Defeat three beach crabbles. Hi there. I don't know what you said. Defeat two wood bunnets. Hi there. Light skeeters now. I pissed on the moon, Boris, you nonce! <laughs> okay, you done? Yeah, he's done. How about you? Colony 9 resident. Vang teeth. This dialogue, like, isn't super interesting, so I don't think I'm gonna, like, read out all of it unless it seems interesting. Colony's built on the body of the Bionis, but the whole world's the Bionis. It must be huge. Oh, okay, that wasn't quest dialogue. I miss me wife, Tails. I miss her a lot. Oi, mate! 
you're gonna be dropped into space in it. No, the the Irish will have to watch Splatoon 2 Let's Plays by Eggman. What? What are we doing? <laughs> oh God! I'm gonna, like fifty percent of the time. I'm just gonna be screaming in a terrible British accent. <laughs> What the actual shit? What? <laughs> so these landmarks are uh, spots you can fast travel to and from. I'm pretty sure. Colony line resident. You can see the full mini map. Oh, okay. So there are quests this way. There is there is a reason to go here. Okay. And I assume that red exclamation point is probably where I deliver the biscuits. Keep your distance, please. It's not safe. We must have been going too fast. We crashed it into the house and all the ether leaked out. We haven't even got any spare parts to fix it. Colonel Vanguard's gonna go mental when he's... Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, like, obviously they speak in British accents, but they're also gonna use British vernacular. He... The man's gonna go mental. Go mental. Metal. Gotta get their act together. Okay. Those soldiers crashed into a thing. Absolute dunces. In the name of the queen, I have a royal decree. Shadow the Hedgehog is a plank and a wanker. <laughs> you see this bug all the time. Could you catch it? Collect one giant hornet. I'm pretty sure this is just one of those like blue orbs. You can see why the quests auto-complete. Quest completed! I already had one! Nice. <laughs> and, like, I didn't have to talk to him again. So that's really nice. Like, the quests are not interesting. But I wouldn't say that's necessarily a weakness, because the game streamlines them a lot to the point where really all you have to do is go talk to people. And, like, otherwise you'll just naturally complete them. Well? Getting complaints from customers. Glowing rocks. Rainbow zirconias. Most of these aren't even things that have, like, physical, um, physical models or shapes. They're just the blue orbs everywhere. Can't wait for Cam to get famous and for some dude to pull this VOD up and you get cancelled. Boy sexual rights! <laughs> Ain't it? <gasps> oh! Hi! That's the key, I assume. Residence lost your key. Cool. Reputation change. Okay, I assume I've, I'm becoming more liked. Hello. Uh -oh. What's up? Do you need to see me for something? Are those grandma's biscuits? <laughs> she really shouldn't have gone to all the trouble. Thanks for bringing them for her. Please thank grandma for me as well. Oh, I do have to go back to thank grandma at least. That's something. You can jump. I haven't jumped yet. No, you must be an idiot! Talk to her and you'll see! God save the camp! <laughs> Never knew I wanted to hear British camp till now, lol. You're the only one. Everyone else is annoyed, I'm sure. Which is why everyone is just... <laughs> Fuck, he is just named God Sa Yeah, that is a God Save the Queen joke. <laughs> you know Paola, right? Isn't she the most adorable little girl? Uh, no, I don't. I have no idea who that is. He tinkled on me, misses! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> he pulled out his wang and proclaimed it to be an absolute madman! <laughs> What's the tools I need for work? <laughs> Spanner. Okay. Search Quest 4. Like, they're literally just labeled like that. Like, it doesn't expect you to be invested in these. I left it in the commercial district. Okay. Anything else here? Uh, no, but there are, uh, exclamation points pointing toward everywhere where I would encounter things. Uh, the white exclamation points are- oh, it's nighttime. Kind of weird for that to show up up over the mini-map, but, okay. How do I fucking clip things? Um, god damn it, it's just- it's subconscious now. It's a knee-jerk reaction. Uh, there should just be a- some people can't seem to do it, but there seem- there- there should be a- it should just be on the player, like with the play button and the settings and everything. Hello. Colony 9 resident. Have you got any yokelish flammy eggs? 
Any yokelish flammy eggs? That's just a quintessentially, like, British sounding phrase. They make the best omelets, I want to make one for my girl. Get an egg. Hello. Okay. Faker, my thanks, you're the fake hedgehog around here. Re I put an A in there, that was wrong. You're not even gobbledy fiddlestick, God save the queen enough to be my fake. <laughs> gobbledy fiddlestick, God save the queen. God save the queen. <laughs> this is awful. This is terrible. Hello. <laughs> Lost something really important in my wedding ring. I found that. I found that. I don't want my wife to ever go at me. <laughs> well, that was easy. Uh, part of why I'm glad I don't have to talk to the people again is because you don't have the typical RPG problem of like, you already have the thing, so you talk to the person and it's like, do you have, can you go find this for me? And you say, yes, I'll go find it for you. And then you talk, you just stand there, you talk to them again, and it's like, oh, I found this. <laughs> okay, and when I suffocate from laughing, none of you are allowed in the same state as my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck your Twitch career. I'm gonna get fiddle from a major publication for gobbledy fiddlestick God save the queen. Or you fucking unionist, I'll plant a card bomb under those words. Under <laughs> the forest, for, forest, fortress entrance. Affinity coin, what's an affinity coin? I don't know what that means. We are an hour into the stream. playing at uh oh the colonel's going to explode what's that effect they put on his voice like clearly that was an internal thought but they put like a weird i it was like he was in a tunnel it wasn't an echo but crashing the mobile artillery into a house oh he oh, talked to people who did that been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. Mm. But it's impossible mm. to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? What did they do then? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you. And you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. <laughs> why? It's broken. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Love the drill sergeant boogie he's got going here. Eggman's absolutely American. Uh, Rouge is Welsh, Shadow Scottish, Sonic is Irish. Memphis would be Australian. <laughs> uh, he has Eggman stash. No, he has square tash. Not even square stash. They they removed an S. I guess it does go up to like literally like if you finished it, it would form a. <sighs> what is? What? Oh shit! I don't even remember. Quadrilateral. I was trying to remember, what is a shape with four sides? Why did I forget that? You can tell I haven't had a math class in over a year now. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Oh my god. Change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve! Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers! Oh my god! Same old colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. Just fucking punched his man. Okay, that's fine. Oh, fuck abuse. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that happened. <laughs> British facial hair grows in perfect right angles. <laughs> I'm gonna fist the colonel. Defense force soldier, hi. Why did they disappear? 
They like... <laughs> they beamed out of there. Ever been to the pool below Outlook Park at night? There's a monster called Lady Magdalena that appears there. Lake. Wait. There's a monster called... Wait, was it Lady? Lake. Defeat Lake Ma Okay, it's a Magdalena at the lake. Okay. Where'd they go? <laughs> Same old Colonel Jesus Shulk, he could kick court-martialed. <laughs> okay, there they are. Yes! Yes! Gonna move on, you maggots, okay. Hello. They just- I will collect the ether cylinders at once, Colonel. Hi. Welcome to the military district, where we can jump on- No, we can't jump on boxes? Damn it. That's disappointing. Okay, so what's the difference between the yellow, uh, marks and the- Oh, wait. The yellow mark is just where you need to go. Green marks are people. It's- It's just that over there, there's a yellow mark. Does that mean he's a- What does that mean? Okay. There's an auto-run function? Where you just walk in a straight line. Or- I'm actually not sure what's going on here. It doesn't adjust with the camera, which would be what I use that for. So I could constantly run straight no matter what, but okay. Hi. I think that's the sword. Wow. Colonel got so angry he snapped him out of existence. <laughs> All right, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. well I made the right choice leaving you- Penis in is a Penis! <laughs> your research notes really helped. Out of water. So, you can activate it now then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah. For everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mekon. I see. Well, yeah, if it's a one-of-a-kind weapon. Theory? That only one person can wield. When it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... Unlock... The Monado's power. Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most civilian just come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Shulk. <laughs> Shulk! They didn't even try to. <laughs> I suppose doing the pss, 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 would also be stupid, but. Shulk, I know who your mother is. It was the Monado. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us, saved our future. Next. It will be up to you. That's what he whispered to him, right? Why wasn't why wasn't that just okay? Dunbar. It's a little bizarre. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay then. I'll see you later. Hmm, the anime protagonist is looking Shulk, at the magic sword. You're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. 
You hey. Get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Where Wolverine? Who? Oh, Mumcar. We watched him get like, or at least get aimed at, but presumably shot by many Mechon. In the flashback moment. He's not dead. Hi, he's not dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. He's Alice. Don't be silly. He is Alice. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. No, oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Mechan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Isn't your arm fucked up? More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. Bruh. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. Wow, really turned that one around. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Shulk is coronavirus. No sense of taste. Fuck. Fuck. Has. Fuck. <laughs> no, you're perfectly fine. You can definitely wield the Monado. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. Your arm will literally never ever be in the position to use the Monado. It's going to heal completely, and you're going to be like, yes, cripple me for another year. This is who I am. Thomas, we don't have to do this. <laughs> All right, Fiora now. Find Shulk and give him the food. Story quests become available as the story advances. Wow. Okay. Dandy. So, what's the actual- what's the relationship between, um... Dunban and Fiora? Are they siblings? Hey, Fiora. Dixon! Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. I see no, no evil. Black writings on the wall. Unleashed a million faces. And one by one, they fall. The absolute madmen. They fall. <laughs> okay. So, Outlet Park. Um... There's all this, hold on, can Fiora do quests right now? That Shulk was given? Like, is the inventory the same? Because it's definitely telling me, hey, kill this. I mean, she can fight, I knew that, but. Oh, inflicts days on an enemy suffering topple. <laughs> well, that's uh, specific. My health isn't doing great, but this is one of those games where um, you regenerate all your health in between fights. One Vang Tooth. Little Bunnit. Kill the buns. No, I absolutely can't please say bro. 
bro, in the British voice, this absolute madman ate an entire chicken nugget. Okay, one more Vang Tooth, I think, is what it wants. Attack from behind. That was in front. That was not what I wanted, but that's fine. Okay, I can die now. Please. Man, that was rude. I shouldn't have said that. Here we go. Filthy wing. Oh, that's not a Vang Tooth. Gee, well occurs video game. Okay, power smash. This is just backslash, but named differently. I can never seem to get an attack from the back. As, okay, I can die now, as in I'm tired and I, I need to sleep. Good night, fellas. Okay, good night, Donnie. Thanks for stopping by. I did get a tooth. Did I finish the quest? Yes. Cool, thanks. I don't know what I got. <laughs> Should probably pay some level of attention to what the rewards actually are. Even if I'm not paying that much attention to what the quests are. I do have to say, um, uh, on the Wii version, <clears throat> The optimal control method is the uh, Classic Controller Pro. I've never had a Classic Controller Pro. I had the original Classic Controller, where the shoulder buttons are in a really stupid position, or ZL and ZR are. Um, you know the shoulder buttons here? They were just, the ZL and ZR were tiny buttons like next to it that you'd do extend your finger to press. Anyway, those buttons are necessary in this game, and I, um, that was a real bad way to play it. So playing with the Switch Pro Controller is, uh, it feels very nice. Especially by comparison. Dislocate my shoulders. Can you dislocate and then relocate mine? Because mine are fucked up. <laughs> so we're on our way to deliver food to Shulk. In the dead of night. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is part of why... Uh... The Manado. Oh. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bionis. The same Bionis that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. Shulk. Fiora. Sandwich. Mm. This is great. It tastes so good. It's the infamous scene. Really? It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. For those who aren't catching it, he's taking bites out of the sandwich and it's staying completely full. <laughs> completely intact. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. Just noticed right as I asked why it was infamous. <laughs> Bro, why you need sword if you have gun? Gun? Oh, the breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this always. I wonder if that's oh. foreshadowing of things getting worse literally this second. The debris siren. Oh yeah, that's just a thing that happens in this world. Hey, Queen Frostless? Frost... Wh which syllable am I putting emphasis on there? 
Queen Frostless. Hi, welcome. How are you doing? There might be more on the way. The anti-air batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. Me when my parents try to get me to try their weird ass cold potato salad slash meat. <laughs> okay, so you can open the menu to uh, change who the partner is. Or the, the leader is. Wait, change equipment. That's not the same. Hold up, what am I doing? It's not letting me into the, uh... Okay. I'll stick with Fiora. I'm not totally sure how to do that, but I'll figure it out, I'm sure. It'll probably tell me. If the affinity between two party members is deep enough, they can have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Yeah. Forgot about those. Potato salad is cold. It would, it would be weird warm, yes. <laughs> Change the party leader in the party menu. Oh, we only just discovered Outlook Park. Cool. Give me these things. Pretty sure those Dawn Hydrangeas are necessary for a quest. Now, what are we... Um... Oh, there's a heart-to-heart -heart thing right here. Okay, view the details. Sunrise in the park. Sure. S sunrise! I can see why Chugga Conroy was so specific about what what the time of day was, because this is weird. You remember that time we watched the sunrise? Okay, that's fair. That's fine. However, I still think it'd be more appropriate to do this in the daylight. <laughs> when you were quite young. Yeah, I remember. We came because I invited you. You and Dunban. Do you hear a bird? There's a bird. Uh -huh. Shut up! I feel like you can hear that. You and Dunban. You had a big falling out. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Really, it had nothing to do with you. But I still dragged you out and made you stay up all night. Can't we can't hear anything? Really? Okay. Because the, the dog barked out there like once upon a time and you could hear that. And uh, this is far more noticeable. <laughs> At least to me. Glad we did it, even though it was only that one time. We talked for hours and hours about all our hopes and dreams. And then you fell asleep on my arm as we looked up in the stars. Ah! You can review cutscenes and heart-to-hearts and choose time of day and outfit of characters. Yeah, that's a very good change. I like that a lot. Oh no! What? What is it? Oh, Shulk! I had this really terrible fearing, feeling I said something embarrassing. Like I wanted to get married? Um, Shulk, you don't remember what I said back then? You wanted to go fishing. I know there's like an optimal way these can go. Like, depending on what, what you choose, your affinity will change. Uh, I'm guessing they aren't siblings. Well, they aren't. Um, did I? Fuck, okay. Should have guessed. Guess I might have said that, but I'm talking about something else. No, you definitely said you wanted us all to go fishing. So we went the next day, you, me, and Ryan. You know what? That's absolutely in character for Shulk. <laughs> you caught the biggest fish. I'll never forget the size of it. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, it was fun. We had a great time, didn't we? Shulk, you've really forgotten all about it. I just hope you remember one day. You were like, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm seeing there are... Is it because there are enemies down there? Oh my god! You can just jump into the water! Oh my god! Forgot about that. That's definitely a thing. Okay, I was worried about the estimation points up there, and I was like, there are no enemies here. What? <laughs> Alright, uh, there are, are those items in here? Are those orbs? Yeah. I knew you could do that. The first time so for for those who are just joining um i have played this game before on the wii but i i got to alchemoth and stopped if that means anything to anyone um but uh what was it what am i trying to say i got to alchemoth and then i just stopped not because i disliked the game or anything just because i'm an idiot who abandons playthroughs like nothing um because i have exactly no attention span um so there are things that I'm, like, forgetting and remembering all over the place. I'm shocked I didn't remember that you could just whoo, 
go diving. <laughs> Oh, that zoomed in real close. Okay. I don't actually know. Where should I go? I need to... K it's really routing me all the way. I, I just need to get on land somewhere. <laughs> Here isn't necessarily where I wanted, but I'm going to grab the things. You stopped pretty early. Yeah. How far out of curiosity would you say that is, story-wise? I've been guessing maybe a quarter. What if you were Bill Gates? Wouldn't be streaming on Twitch, that's for sure. Hopefully I'd be, uh... Not evil enough to, uh stay a billionaire but you know agora shore okay i have a feeling that okay there are a bunch of enemies here and red i think means that they will attack you on sight i'm not actually sure chewy radish is it bad for me to be here i'm not sure there's a heart to heart spot i saw that None of them are attacking me, but I don't know if they've seen me or not. Red might mean... Oh, it mean, it's a difficulty indicator. Level 36. Yeah, no. <laughs> not not gonna happen. One-fourth to one-third max. Okay. It's a very long game if you do the side stuff. I do enjoy side quests in this game quite a lot because it tells you a lot about the world. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna... I'm not gonna be doing 100%, but I'm not gonna be shying away from the side quests. I do expect this game to take a very long time <laughs> can't view this yet okay requirements will become visible later you don't have the right people yet okay oh god it's still <laughs> there's like no walkway back to back to the colony it seems I do need to swim that whole way I shouldn't be here Imagine you're just walking in the woods and are thinking of killing a nearby deer, but then a notification above their head says level 43, and you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> you can now play as Luigi. <laughs> okay, that's just... That either leads to a cave or is a dead end. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna follow the story... The, the, the... Story route path. Was that a thing in, uh, the original game? Where, like, it literally had a dotted line, like, constantly pointing to the quest marker. Because I think I remember it was just, like, a traditional quest marker. Like, the path wasn't outlined for you. First playthrough took 145 hours. Damn. Tried to do as much as I could without a guide. I won't... Probably won't be going that far. You had the pointer at the top of your screen. That's right. Yeah, it was more of a compass system than a mini-map. I mean, there was a mini-map, I think, but, uh... The story route was shown a different way. It's telling you direction and how far it is. Okay. Hi. I really do have to swim all that way, don't I? Who the fuck swims like this? Why are hands so weird? The movement in this game is a little strange. Uh, have you noticed yet that the, uh... Wait, can I walk up this? Can I, like, circle around? No, I don't think so. I think this is just tilted. Fast travel. You know, I'm an idiot and completely forgot that existed. Aren't I a genius brain? Uh, what was I gonna say about the movement? Have you noticed, Thomas, that, uh... Um... The, act the running, it does not match up with how much ground you're covering. Like, there is always a little bit where you are sliding across the ground as your foot is there. Expert mode. Limit EXP gain. Adjust character. Let's you store a portion of earned experience points for later use. Disabled by default, of course. You can manually adjust levels. Interesting. 
That's neat. Will I be doing it? No. <laughs> okay, so... This brings up that. Area maps. Okay. So that was X, I think. Um, there's a couple things to grab. I think right now, I'm just going to zoom over here and turn in that quest. You also turn it on and lower your level uh, in case you uh, over level by accident. Interesting. And turn it off again and continue at normal level. That's neat. That's very neat. So can you walk up uh, stairs slowly in Zelda games? Um, you find they don't actually exist. Yeah. Hold on. What is this pointing at? Up there. Ah, I see. I have to come up there from the other side. <laughs> That's not the other side. The map told me that, and yet, here I am. Over level, isn't it a good thing to be higher level than your enemy? Well, if you find the game's getting too easy, like, it is nice that you can just easily fix that. Quest completed. Is this the key? Tool. Cool. Got the spanner. Dandy. <laughs> Anything else in the immediate vicinity? Well, there are a couple quests that I think have become available now because, um... Hi, you're just vibing here. Skiving off again. Skiving? Skiving? Me not being there shouldn't give the defense force any problems. Cool. T. T. Okay, I hopped off there. I have to jump off from above there. At least I assume that's the case, right? Come on! Hop! Something I'm not seeing, surely. Don't, don't tell me things. Just to... Not that I think any of you were. I just want to make it clear that if I, like, ask a question out loud, I'm not actually asking for answers. It's a rhetorical thing. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. You just drop off. Good. I was like, I'm an idiot. What am I not seeing? So story-wise, I need to head back to the lab, but apparently there's something here in town. Things are, like, adjusting over, over the course of the day. Like, there are some quests you can only get at certain times of day. Some people will only show up at certain times. Very much like Jirok to win. You're on his side too, aren't you? Sure. Sure, he's the only one I've spoken to. Okay. Back to the military district. Or should I go to the residential district first? I think I should pick up Ryan and then... Then we can do the thing. So to the military district, pick up the quests there. And then progress in the story. Hour and a half in. Okay. That first hour felt like it went by instantly. This next hour has been shockingly slow, actually. I remember when I first said, oh, it's been an hour already. The next time I checked the clock, it had been eight minutes. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> I guess just because a lot of that time was spent, that early time was spent watching cutscenes and not really saying much. I am kind of ignoring the fast travel, aren't I? It's kind of a force of habit. I, I play a lot of... Most of the time when I play Fallout games, I uh, specifically don't fast travel. What's up? He's got more. I don't know what you said. Just like I need you to take down the Lake Flamie. One baby Armu. <laughs> More? Okay. First hour we were all saying Sonic shit in British accents. This is true. This is true. Fike! Okay, you're done. Who's just vibing in the lab that needs something done? A knop on. Yeah. Yeah. Me run out of materials for my research, but too busy to go get more. Friends maybe go get for me. 
Okay, I have one already. Do you have anything else? No. Hey, Ryan. How you doing? Ryan? Ryan? What are you doing? Sh sh shulk! Uh, uh, no, I'm... I'm, I'm forgot I'm just... about this. <laughs> He's possessed? A little bit. Oh my god. However. Ryan. Goodness. Fiora, are you okay? Uh, you fucking killed her, dude. <laughs> it's broken. What? What do you mean it's broken? Don't you care about me? I could have died. You're not hurt, are you? The Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Ryan? Sorry, I, I came to ask a favor, but you weren't here. And I saw the Monado and... I know I'm here a lot, but even I need fresh air sometimes. Is your body still feeling numb? We have to be very careful with the Monado. It's not a toy. I know, man. I just wanted to touch it. Didn't know it would do that. I just wanted to Sorry. poke it. But is it true? The Monado really can't cut people. Well, you just saw firsthand, so. didn't you? Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's a symbol? Well. If yes. I find a way to increase the number of symbols. Why is that shocking? I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But why were you more worried about a machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just I just explained why. That's not the point. Uh sorry. Now it's my turn to kill you. So you're gonna hulk out? Look at you, worthless without the Monado. Until I've scrapped each and every one of you. So, of course, I want to get my revenge. Your blade—it did not cut deep enough. No! I forgot about that. <laughs> What on Bionis happened there? <laughs> what on Bionis? Ryan. Fiora. Are you okay? Does it hurt? No. Ryan, when you held the Monado... Bionicle. Did Thank you. Did you see anything? You know, like a blue blade made of light came out. Same as just now. I don't mean that. A feeling like time had stopped. And then time had stopped. So, was it only me who saw that? That sounds strange. Is it another Monado thing? Who knows? Who oh, knows? <laughs> anyway, no matter how good a sword it is, that's what happens when you hold it. Looks like Dunban really is the only one who can use it. I won't let my brother use it ever again. Okay, they are siblings. <laughs> okay, we asked the question earlier. Not after what it did to him. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, the point is, I'm fine. To be honest, this has happened a few times before. I've been researching the Monado for a long time. Shulk, don't act as if this is nothing. Look, don't worry about it. Anyway, Ryan, what did you want to ask me about? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, old Square Tash has gone... Dumbman and Fiora siblings, yes. Fancy tagging along? Punishment duty. Are you the one going to punch the people now? Punishment? The colonel was pretty angry today. Did he hit you? Well, whether he hit me is neither here nor there, really. Although, actually, he did end up hitting me. Wonderful. And that ain't all. He made me do a thousand squats and sit-ups. Okay, punishment duty meaning you're getting punished, not doing the punishing. Whoa, nasty. Yeah, 
And now I have to go all the way to the Magmel ruins and back. So you have to go and collect the ether cylinders. That's the one. They're used to power the mobile artillery. Looks like the damage has been repaired. They can't move without the ether energy. And it seems like the fueling station's all out of stock. Is the mobile artillery that big machine that crashed in the residential district? Yeah, probably. You know your way around there, right? I mean, Ryan could have said that with 100% certainty, Shulk, but you had to chime in with probably. Yeah. Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah. Knew you would. Hold on. The Magmel ruins are in Tefra Cave, right? I heard that there's a male lizard nest there. I couldn't take it if anything happened to Shulk. He's delicate. Not like you, Ryan. What are you on about? I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. But... Okay, I got it. I'll make you a promise. Shulk won't even get a scratch. A promise doesn't mean much coming from you. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> She don't trust me at all. Nah, she doesn't mean it. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with Shulk for now. I suppose at some point I should try switching to Ryan to see um, how he plays. All I know is he's a tank. Hi, Fiora. You just vibing? <laughs> If you've forgotten anything, Tefra Cave's dangerous, right? You have to be prepared. Okay, cool. Um, I think I'll pick up this quest and then probably go down back to the residential district and pick up the quests there. And then we can depart for Tefra Cave. Hey, pal. Yes. Do you know about evil Rangrot? It's on Tefra Hill. I've been ordered to kill it by myself. That's impossible for one person. Can't you go do that? Cool. Anything else in the area? Well, not the immediate area, but, um, X area maps. Oh, there's no landmark in the residential district. Okay. I suppose you could go here and then hop into the residential area. Yeah, let's try that just because there are some things nearby. I don't know if that's enemies. Well, they're gone now. They're not gone now. Okay. <laughs> My mini-map shows less than I thought it did. Which is fine. Especially because you can switch to the full map at any time and still keep moving. That I really like. I appreciate that. This has lots of really good uh, quality of life improvements. That I can't say I've seen in other games. So there's the residential district. Okay, that's just the things I need. Cool. Rabbit diode. Rabbit diode too, I assume. Neat. Anything else nearby? Nope. Back to the residential district. Xenoblade Chronicles, a game where you walk up to exclamation points for hours and then occasionally there are cutscenes. Heart to heart. <laughs> Not yet. Hey, not one. Hmm, Nira Nira want a friend. Not many not one in colony, so Nira Nira has no friend to play with. Sounds like you've got a problem. Hum's boy called Lucas. Nira Nira wants to be friends with him. Can't you make friends yourself? No, Nira Nira too scared to. Never mind. Guess we can help. Nira Nira wrote a letter, but too afraid to give it to him myself. P -p Please, can you take for me? Sure. Cool. Dandy. Wait, is that like right behind here? Is that Lucas? Yeah, okay. Hello. What do you want? A letter? From who? Nira Nira? I'll read it now. Read it, read it now. Tell Nira Nira I want to be friends with him. I always wanted a nop on friend. This should be really fun. Okay, quite the quest you got here. Me. Me. Lucas, such a nice boy to agree uh, to agree to be near near his friend. 
Thank you, near near. Go play now. Okay. So affinity seems to uh, grow by doing quests with certain people. At least, that's what I took away from that. Like when Ryan chimed in, our affinity went up. It's kind of interesting. Dionysus. <laughs> hey there, youngin. Care to lend an ear to the oldest person in Colony Nine? Could you go into more detail? Same old problem, you know what I'm on about. My back's playing up again. I feel, bring medicinal brog oil. I just endure the pain and fake a smile like I'm hunky dory. <laughs> okay, so this just two, uh... Okay, you can get it from the brogs. You just kill two enemies, hope it drops the thing. And you. Where's my shiny treasure? Did he say find it? Did he say I'd be happy if you find it for me? I think he did. What's- wait, what's back here? I don't have to report back to Lucas again, right? I thought that completed the quest. There is another exclamation point. Is it you? No, it's down there. Hi. Is that, um... Okay. Helps her sleep at night. Blue glass bead. Okay. So that quest is done. Have a boy. Like... Like, have a child who is male? What are you... What are you, what are you on about? Okay. I'm gonna, I think, fast travel. I keep hitting the wrong thing. It's X. Exclamation points do show up on this map. Should I go, like... Yeah, I'll collect these two. Doesn't take that long. So does time skip, um, whenever you fast travel? Does a certain amount of time, uh, pass or not? Time is pretty, uh, pretty versatile in this game. You can, like, just sit and wait uh -huh. for 12 years to do anything. Find Miller for me. He's a habitual slacker. I just don't know what to do with him. He always runs away as soon as he sees me coming. Only subordinate I have. Can't just ignore him. Good to see our young captain hasn't changed. You know how habitual more like. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you. Funny. He can get away from me in three seconds. Young Captain Emmy Leader is getting really angry with her subordinate. Go find that lazy bones called Miller. Okay, he's in the commercial district. Achievement, friend number 10. Is that an epic, uh, blossoming friendship? There are achievements in this game. I completely forgot about that. Well, commercial district, kill two birds with one stone. Get quest and also find Miller, presumably. Hello, Colony 9 resident. Defeat Wallside Grimly. Gwin Gwinry. Gwinry. Bash monsters on head. Okay. And then... Go this way, I think, to... Go talk to you. Oh, wait, you're the one I talked to earlier. Captain Leader wants me to go back, does she? What is it with that woman? Can't she come find me herself? He's going back. Do I need to report to her, or is that the quest complete? I gotta report to her. I haven't actually looked at the quest mo quest log yet, but there's a there's a couple. You can set certain quests as active, so that it uh like points you toward things, but it doesn't seem like that's totally necessary for a lot of them. Because the exclamation points are everywhere anyway. Anyway. Fast travel back. I'm so not used to just fast traveling back and forth between places. Last game I really did that with was Super Mario Odyssey. Um. Because when I play like. Big RPGs like this. Normally I'm like. Well. For immersion's sake. I'm not going to do that because uh, that forces me to like walk through places I've been to before in order to do quests in like a certain 
in, in a natural order instead of, okay, fast travel, do thing, fast travel, come back. But like here, I don't see a point in not fast traveling. I don't think that it'll enhance the experience in any way. He has learned his lesson, promise not to slack off again or else the cops will be sent after him. Until now, bad luck's kept me from achieving my dream. Now I can finally move forward. Your dream of him not being a lazy boy? Okay. I'm getting a bunch of armor. I'm just not really actually putting it on. Don't slack or you'll be beaten. Okay. So there's something here in the the dark, but uh, anyway over here. Oh, that's the quest. Oh, is it in? Is that in the cave? Is that what that means? I think so. Anyway, let's uh, go to the main entrance of town, assuming there's nothing else. Yeah, go to the main entrance. We'll head out toward the cave. Don't slack, you'll be beaten. So is this seen as an awful thing, or is it given the Harry Potter elf slavery treatment? I'm not sure. <laughs> really don't have any idea. There's a bunch of, bunch of things on the beach here that the game seems to want dead. So I'll do that. That's level four? Okay. That's easy then. Let's attack from the side, lower his defense from the start. Oh boy, he's, this boy spin dashed into me. There we go. Now what is it you want? Block guarder, caterpillar, crystal. Did that give me anything that I needed? I don't think it did. Oh god, you need monsters. Verdant blue coal. But that's level five, so that's fine. You think it's the smart thing to uh, open with the side slash so that his defense is lower for future attacks and then backslash? I think that makes sense. Let's inflict break. Um. Because Ryan should then be able to topple him, right? Okay, side slit edge, that's what it's called, not side slash. It doesn't seem to actually do that much in the way of damage. The gamer theme is playing. It is a very good theme. It is indeed. Okay, that did 84. This does a 35 from the front. Ryan is dead. I have not been healing him. We died. <laughs> that went very poorly. Now, what is, what's the actual penalty for death? Does it bring you back to your, does it bring you to your last auto save? Last landmark visited, okay. I uh, may or may not have forgotten that Shulk can just uh, heal people. <laughs> Okay, that, there is fall damage, but it doesn't matter, I want to say, just because, uh, um, just because you, you know, re, um, you regenerate health. God, why was that so hard to say? There we go. Okay, beach crabble, one down. Wait, quest completed. What item did I just get? Something. Is it gonna tell me? No. <laughs> Seems not. Okay, yeah, Slit Edge seems specifically to do less damage, but it does lower defense. So it's good for like a one-time use to inflict the debuff, but not after that. I backslashed him from the side. That's not what I wanted. We can definitely do this. Is that three down? Yep. Okay, cool. The colony's safer now, which is why there are beach crabbles still everywhere along the, along the beach. There's a lot of things it wants me to kill here. I got a cool potato. 
I do remember a lot of the items in this game just seem to be like words mashed together. Plate snow? What's plate snow? White beetle. It does have a lot of health. Like a shocking amount. Hi, Ryan needs to be healed. Pretty badly. This this cooldown is... This cooldown is too long. Oh god. Ryan's gonna die, it feels like. How much does it heal him? Oh, not much at all! Oh my god! Well, I don't know that we're gonna do this, actually. It, it just has way too much health to actually... ...successfully... ...defeat it. Like, it's lower level, but... ...seems deceiving. <laughs> Have to go be unconscious, Good night, Cam. Okay, good night, Gremlin. Have a good sleep. Thank you for joining. Enemies too strong? What? What is that? Oh yeah, casual mode is a thing. What does that actually mean? Let's you lower the difficulty of battles. No. Don't enable. Drink me. Okay. So that returned me to the last landmark, but that doesn't mean I have to redo the missions, right? Cute brog. Take the damage, immediately regenerate. Oh, okay, these are hostile on site. That's what the eye means. Okay. Okay, this thing seems to have a, a pretty decent amount of health. I would like you to stop attacking me and instead attack Ryan. Holy shit. Okay. This is fine. You okay? Yeah. Thanks, man. We need to stick together from here on. And we'll be right as right. Get it? <laughs> you crack me up, Shulk. I don't think these things are that cute. I think the video game's lying to me. Okay, this is level five. This won't be as hard. You crack me up, Shulk. What did he even say? I heard that, but... I'm not an egg, but you are. <laughs> what? Come here. Okay, that's one brog oil. Need one more? Please drop it. They're so vocal. They yell so much. There we go. Okay. Please have the oil? Yes. Okay. Don't need to fight another one of those. Let me just get in here. Please don't see me. Get out with the white beetle. What else is in this area? Nothing? That doesn't sound right. I guess the enemies shuffled out with the passage of time. Okay, it's fine. There are some quests to pick up during this time of day. That's the burden. Oh. Okay. It does exist. Shulk's decided to go with Ryan to the Magmel Ruins and Tefra Cave to collect some ether cylinders. There is no active quest. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to, um... Before heading out to the cave, the things have shown up. And I need to pick them up. I'll get the ones in the commercial... Commercial district. 
I'm kind of shocked at how much it's making me go back to this little uh, corner spot thing. This little hidey hole. Hi. Who's this? Who is this? Plate snow. I already have one of those. <laughs> Thank you, video game. Who else exists? Wait, there's no one. Wait, where are they? There's an exclamation point right there. Where's the Where's the human? Up there. How do I get up there, actually? There like a staircase somewhere? Yes, up here. This is making me explore the uh, colony a little more. Hello. Desiree. Oh, Shulk, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I've broken my watch. Look, it's in pieces. Terrible with machines, even little ones like this. Would you mind fixing it for me? You don't have to be good with machines to be careful with them. You just have to be careful. Ow. Her dad was a mechanic. I didn't mean to be rude. He, he was a little rude. It's been a year since then, I'm back on my feet. Are you gonna fix my watch or not? Mend the watch in Shulk's lab. Okay, that's just go to Shulk's lab. Okay. Well, that's a thing now. Can do that later. Hi there. Hi there. Small scales. Do you have any of those? No. Anything else in the area? No. Let's leave the colony and, barring any more interruptions, head to, uh, Tefra Cave. Executive decision. We've spent too long on quests. Most games, I wouldn't do that. Here, eh. I think I'm within my right. Rabbit diode. What is a rabbit diode? What actually is the definition of the word diode? Oh, you want the hand bun? It's dead. Why? These aren't dangerous. Die. What? Why? <laughs> Please be sure to- okay. Thank you, Cambot. Appreciated. Defeat the monsters that are threatening the- Those aren't threatening the safety! They do not even- they- they just vibe! You have to initiate battle with them! Okay, video game. You and your bullshit explanations for murdering bunnies. Wait, you want me to kill- a oh, wood bunnet. That's different. Okay, gotta kill two of those. Oh, there's lots of, lots of little orbs here. <laughs> did, did Ryan say alley oop when he jumped? Pretty sure he did. <laughs> well, that was a bad backslash. Ali come. You know, I don't think a normal person would have would have had that as their first thought. I don't think that I don't think that you I don't think you should have done that. Cool, I killed two other types of bunny. What do the people of Colony 9 have against bunnies? What are these? Okay, more more bunnies. What is a dance apple? <laughs> Forgot that was, yeah. I, I recognize all these names, but it's just funny seeing them again. Cause yeah, there is definitely a lot I don't remember. That much has been made pretty clear. 
I think. Okay, what is what is being pointed out to me here? Is this a type of special type of enemy? Evil Rangrot! What's the last landmark I went to? Hmm. Should I try this? Yeah, without stopping to fight the bunnies, if I lose this, it'll be fine. Oh, you attack on sight. Didn't actually notice that. Well, this isn't very good already. God, Shulk's HP restore really kind of sucks. To be quite H. Encourage. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. I don't actually know what that does, but you can encourage people in battle. And then Ryan can die, and it, and it can be just fine, and I can totally win this fight. <laughs> Ow. <gasps> okay. Seems for the legendary or unique monsters, whatever they're called in the game, um... I need to be a couple levels higher? Being the same level is not gonna cut it. I will inevitably lose regardless. <laughs> One thing that's really weird about the college year for me this time around is I have a perpetual three-day weekend. I really like it. It is definitely very nice. I haven't had a real three-day weekend yet. I, One day. Maybe. Hopefully. Um... Well, no, pretty much every mo Monday and Wednesday class is also on Friday. But having, like, weird unorthodox schedules where I get to choose when I'm free is very nice instead of the same, like, seven hours a day thing. Did you have that your freshman year? My freshman year, I had, um, classes Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but they were all before noon, and my other two classes were online, so I could pace, the pace them out the way I wanted. So I usually tried to pace it so that all I had on Friday was doing the one was doing the one class and I did the bulk of my work the first four days. But uh, in general, if I wanted to, I could could be done by noon every day, which was really nice and insane. And I got behind on a bunch of stuff, but um, and then this last semester, I had no classes on Tuesday and Thursday, so I worked. So I didn't have any there was no day where I had school, like, back-to-back. -back. I literally had school for less than half of the... Like, proper going to class for less than half of the week. It's like I said, uh... A couple streams ago. Um... A couple streams ago, uh... Oddly enough, unlike everyone else, uh, switching to Zoom for everything, um, has meant that, and just the nature of my schedule this year, regardless of anything, has meant that this has actually been the closest schedule-wise that I've been to a traditional college, uh, experience. But even then, I only have one class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so that's just when I do the bulk of my homework. Oh. You will be needing the transport cases, right? Where would Fiora. I have gotten those, Fiora? <gasps> ah, I'm coming along as well. I'd feel better going with you boys than sitting at home worrying about you. So let's get moving. <sighs> I knew she didn't trust me. He looks so sad. Looks like it. And then Shulk's like, "Yeah, mm-hmm, get fucked." <laughs> Okay, cool. Those are the ones. Those are the ones. Reviving incapacitated party members. I didn't see that. Press B near an incapacitated party member to revive them. There needs to be at least one block in the party gauge. Okay, we're getting getting into chain attacks and uh, team mechanics. When there are three blocks, you can use a chain attack, which is epic. <laughs> you have a quest? Hi. Mine are weird. Mondays and Wednesdays, my day starts at... Uh, Starts at 12, or 11 on Wednesday seminar. It ends at 2.50. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have 9 to 10, 20, 12, 30 to 2, unless it's Tuesday, then 3 to 4. I hate that. That's so... That is one thing. Um, and that's, like, far more insane than any... Any, uh... 
anything I've had so far, but, um, can I have a heart to heart? Yeah, okay. Um, that is one thing is that like, college uh, schedules have the potential to be just everywhere and there's like no sense of routine. Um, to combat that, I've basically like, if I don't have a class on one day, but I do on most of the other days, uh, I, I make sure I'm always working during that time, no matter what. So like if I, even though I have only one class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work on homework for other classes during the time that I would have other classes. And then A, that it, that means that I'm getting through my homework quick more quickly since I'm not s pushing it to the end of the day. I'm working on it during what would have been a normal school day. And um, And as such, since I'm getting through things uh, more quickly, that means that I'm usually done with my, or well, theoretically, hasn't been the case yet, but usually done with work in, within the first half of the week and the second half can be more chill. And when I don't have classes on that Tuesday and Thursday, I don't have to do things. It can be nice and I can have most of the day off. Every time we come here, it brings back memories. Same for you, right? Yep, we've been through a lot together, you and me. Oh yeah, you remember that time? You know, that one time? We had that big fight when Dunban told us off? When we had that big fight? That's the one. I like how half of this is just guessing what they're talking about. Easily the biggest bust up we've ever had. In all the years I've known you, nothing else has come close. It was bad, all right. I'm just glad we made up afterwards. You know, for such a big argument, I don't even remember what it was about. We were really young. It was probably just some silly kid thing. You're probably right. Hey, Shulk, do you ever think about it? Without me bringing it up, I mean. Uh, relate. Yeah, of course. I think about it sometimes. If we'd never had that argument, I don't think we'd be friends now. That's just what I was thinking. Must have said some pretty harsh things to each other, but it was worth it, right? That's why we're such good mates now. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. You know, it's funny how we think alike sometimes. I figured you... I'd have figured you were still angry? Is that what he said? I think so. Nah, not anymore. But you did get on my nerves a bit back then. You were just too clever, man. It got under my skin. And I thought you were just this big dumb brute. Hey, I guess that's what we were arguing about. Yeah, that sounds about right. After all that fighting, we came out stronger. And we learned to- We learnt about each other. You know, I don't say this enough. Thanks, Ryan. Couldn't ask for a better friend. Oh. Remember, you don't have to hold back. You can call me a big dumb brute anytime you like. I'll take it on the chin. Gamer moment. Since things are all online, I desperately wanted to schedule more than anything, even if this- Even when the schedule isn't, uh, ideal, to say the least. I would- uh, I- uh, obviously, I'm, I'm completely different, and I've said uh, a couple times, I do like asynchronous classes. Um, but I like it specifically so that I can, like, shift it to be, like, whatever's right for me, as opposed to, Hi, you're- uh, on one day, everything's in the morning. On another day, everything's in the afternoon. Another day, you have one thing in the morning, and then one thing in the afternoon, and just a giant gap in between. Like, I like things being, uh... I like- I like trying to make things as consistent as possible and predictable. Taking a couple singing brogs. I thought there were was dialogue even in these scenes. Like spoken dialogue in the heart to hearts? No. Yes. Cool. Let's go in. That's weird. Yeah, a little. Welcome to Tefra Cave. I like how it shows where on the Bionis it is. That's neat. So Colony 9's the foot. There are many types of monster. You can toggle enemy icons on or off. Okay. Ordinary monsters will not attack unless you attack them. Visual types will attack when they see your character. And that's it for now. Haha! <laughs> Carpal tunnel! What? Is that the joke? That's not the joke. <laughs> Willow Bunniv. Well, it wants you dead. And you'll attack me on sight anyway, so might as well get you out of the way! Ah! 
bleed. Uh, that means they continuously take damage, right? Who can inflict that? Because I'll be honest, um, playing a Shulk doesn't feel that interesting. It's more, it's mainly just like positioning yourself to do backslash every so often. <laughs> I might switch to Ryan in a second just to see, uh, see what he's like. I wonder who people generally like to play as here at the start when you have these three options. A treasure chest. They do just drop out of nowhere. Okay. Um, party. Let's try Ryan. Integrity, courage, spirit. What are these? Prom Skeeter. I don't know what that is, but I haven't fought it yet, so. Bone Upper fills talent gauge when attack connects. Attacks and temporarily increases aggro. Lure enemy from a distance, temporarily increases aggro. Topples an enemy suffering break. Lowers physical damage and attack. Let's leave with that. He's got way more options here at the start. Hey, 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 camera, car. Hey, 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 stop. Will I explain to the rest of, will I explain to the rest of the, um, rest of the viewers? No. He say car, I get mad, he say car. Seller bugworm, which attacks on sight and is two levels above me. I'm gonna walk above you. I mean, if you wanna explain why car is infuriating, that's fine, but. So a lot of Ryan's attacks are specifically about like luring the enemy into attacking him. What is the talent gauge? Is that, oh, that's this in the middle. Yeah, there were like three things in Ryan's uh, repertoire that are based on uh, getting the enemy to attack him. So that's cool as a, as a tank, I like that. Iron Buniv. I keep wanting to go to backslash, but like, I don't need to do that. <laughs> Did you just throw a rock at him to get him to attack? He's got two things that fill the talent gauge when the attack connects. I feel like the animal, when the, whenever the animals spot you, they just go, what was that one thing I posted to the cursed congressman? I have no idea. You are on notice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is possible. Mining Patrachev. Patrachev. Mr. Patrachev, tear down this. I'm sorry. Okay, there. I don't think I'm high enough level for that. That seemed seemed a unique monster. Didn't take any damage there. Thankfully. Okay. Confusion Ivy, Clarity Moss. Again, these are just words. They're just shoving words together. How can I tell if it's suffering break? Oh! Ah! Was that a chain attack? What was that? That was... That's not a chain attack. That's a completely different thing that I have to initiate myself, but, um... Okay. Yeah, here's the thing about Shulk so far. So far. I, he gets way better later on because of reasons you can probably guess. Um, 
once he has the Monado, like, he can swap between a bunch of things. And they're neat and cool. Um, but right now, his main thing is just that he can inflict Break and he has Backslash. And Break is literally just a thing to set up uh, Rhine to inflict Topple. Like, that's not super interesting to do on on your own. <laughs> like, it's nice to have him as a as an AI uh, character instead, I think. At least for now. Like, I'm vastly preferring playing as Ryan right now, because I can do things. I don't have to just vibe waiting until my thing recharges. Singing Brog, this is level 8. I'm not... I'm a little frightened. Nope, attack me! Attack me! Okay, Fiora's not doing great. There are too many enemies right here. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'm kind of just spamming in hopes that things go all right. Oh, Fiora's down. That's fine. Oh yeah, and then if... Oh, okay. I forgot. Yeah, you can heal people. Fiora! Well, that came weirdly close. Surprisingly close to working. It did not work. If you're not able to win a battle, check the level difference between your, your party and the enemy. Yes. Remember to equip with the. Uh, oh, the last landmark's here. I gotta redo a bunch of stuff. Anyway, yeah, maybe part of why I haven't. I had this thought earlier and then didn't actually act on it. Maybe part of why I haven't been doing so well is because, um, haven't haven't uh, gone through and messed with equipment. He has middle gear equipped. Okay, it tells me who has what equipped. So, do I have any new weapons? I have one new weapon. These are all weapons only Ryan can use, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Sorry I'm not talking as much about the actual game as I usually do. I'm about as blind on this as you are. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You're good. Like, Pac-Man World, I rented this and played it and thought it was really good, but only briefly. Metal Lancer. An excellent blocking weapon that's used to protect one's loved ones. I guess I'll just go with whatever's best. And that's like, my normal weapon was 16 and that was 65. So that should do a good amount. Died top, we'll put that on Fiora. Hi. Okay. That's different. We don't have any spare head gear. Nine cuffs. Okay. I guess put that on Shulker Fiora. Put that on Fiora. Battle leggings. <laughs> Only Fiora can put on the dyed bottoms, it seems. I'll give Ryan the... Leather bottoms. Honestly, Ryan being a tank should probably have um, some of the better defense if everything's going to be attacking him at once. Of course, I don't know how tanks are actually supposed to be played half the time. Let's go battle leggings. And then Fiora can also have battle leggings. Cool. One thing that's been on my mind is that... um. There's been an aching part of me again that feels like I'm not doing enough for political activism and shit, especially with the protests. But honestly, when I'm not either in college or talking with pals like y'all, I'm talking with Kellen. And uh, whenever I'm talking with him, there's just something about him that got me like... <laughs> That's what noise you were thinking, right? <laughs> I definitely feel you on the, on the activism thing. It's just... There's not a lot that... We can do right now! I, I mean, I, I would absolutely be out at protests if I could. If I could be. Um... I just don't have transportation and like 
even though that that uh, can make me feel bad at times like it's something that's not my fault so shouldn't like lose sleep over it anyway uh you can add gems as well oh yeah yeah you're you can adjust your appearance as well like you can choose different um you can appear to be wearing different armor than what you're actually wearing which is interesting um I think for now, I'm just gonna stick with whatever is currently existing. Leather bottoms, uh, strength up, sure. Junk sword, wait, I didn't go through weapons. Defense knives, those are better for Fiora. God, this uh, inventory management is a lot. Um, I think I'll probably do this like maybe once every 90 minutes or so. Unless I'm specifically having trouble. So yeah, right now I'm basically split between activism and romance. And like I've said, it's not even clear cut because we both said this is a, are we ready for a relationship relationship, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. Strength up. Okay, what does strength actually do as a stat? Is that just your, is that your attack? Because yeah, I think Ryan should keep that. HP up. I think I only have two, the two gems right now. I'll give Fiora the HP. Sure. Okay. That hits the slot. I don't know if I hate that or not. Okay. Ryan in particular has a much better weapon right now. Let's see if that, how much that helps. Suck on this, he yells. Uh, it seems like Jake, I'm not really mentally ready for one, if that makes sense. That, that definitely makes sense. I definitely wouldn't enter, like, an actual relationship right now. Especially since he lives in... Can 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 canvas... Like, the political canvassing with a, with an S instead of a V. You feel the same way? I mean, I wouldn't say I'm not ready for a relationship right now. It's more so just, uh, given the circuit. Well, I guess it's, I'm not ready, but I think it's more just given the, uh, pandemical circumstances. I don't know if I'd want to put, um, trying to maintain a relationship on top of that. It's not really anything, like personal like that I'm struggling with it's just eh, the opportunity arose I probably wouldn't go for it right now <laughs> do I want to go for that no <laughs> no okay. that's level 10 I'm level 9 oh that loot stayed Singing Brog, should I do it again? I mean, I kind of want to, I'd want to isolate it. The thing about, the thing about this game that I remember very vividly is that, um, you don't want to be attacked by a big group of enemies. Absolutely not. Unfortunately that, looking at this, it seems like that's kind of going to be impossible. Oh God. Okay. Well. Let's try and get everyone focused on the same thing. Okay, that's got break. Let's topple it. Yeah, why is it attacking them and not me? Why is Fiora dead? Yeah, attack me, not Shulk. That's what I'm here for. Oh god, I used up everything. Shulk, I would love if you inflicted break. I'd like that a lot. That's 
Cool, okay. Quest completed. I didn't actually know that was a thing it wanted me to kill. I didn't look at that. Killer Croc. Whoa, we some kind of Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> I hate you. I hate that. I hope you know how much I hate that. Magmel Ruins, okay. Are these the Magmel Ruins? Yeah, the text said that. Haven't you been here before? Nope. The defense force often uses it for training, but I come here to do research. Why would she have been here before? <laughs> it's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. There are monsters around here that use mechon parts as armor. Not surprising people haven't been here before. Ryan, haven't you been here before? Do you just forget not everyone is a soldier? Is this built by the mechon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. We live on a giant robot. That's like straight up the story. A Titan, sorry. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind yeah, of- Yeah, two and a half hours. It's it's honestly felt longer than, than most streams have felt. I don't know why, because like I'm enjoying the game. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. But oddly enough, my internet shitted for a bit. Oh god. <laughs> View the map, select the landmark you wish to travel to. Probably a good idea to return to the colony when your inventory is full, so you could. Oh, your inventory can get full. Also, yeah, there is. You can sell things in this game. Compl haven't been to a shop even once. I'm good at playing this video game. Okay, kill another Buniv. Uh, whenever I first played this game, I actually stuck with Shulk specifically because I uh, felt over uh, overwhelmed whenever I uh, played as Ryan and saw the seven million options he had. But uh. No, now I'm feeling like- uh, now I'm a much more active player, I guess, and I don't feel overwhelmed. When I play as Shulk, I just feel like I don't have anything to do. <gasps> What's this door? Okay, it does open up. Well, that's why it's, the map is there. Yeah, here is... What? Lights. One single flashing light that doesn't seem to be important. Divniv. Divniv. I see. Automatic door. Examine. It won't open. Okay. Kind of a pointless error message, but that's fine. War swing seems to hit, like, everything in a circle. So, that's really useful. Okay, that's three out of five, um, four out of five, and then this one's, like, about to die. Quest completed, okay. That's done. Oh, hi, what are you? A wallside Gwyn Gu Yeah, I was told to kill you. And you are a unique monster, and my, um... Oh god, you... You're a unique monster, and you are my level, so I don't feel confident that we're going to beat this. Oh, what's that, uh... Attack inflicts strength down debuff. Wait, how do I do that? Why couldn't I do that? Oh, I've been toppled! Yeah, this can happen, can't it? Please get me up, someone. I'm dead. And our talent gauge isn't even close to having one full. There we go. Shit. Fuck. 
Um, okay, well, that didn't work out. It, it certainly looked like it could have worked out, though. We got pretty close. Uh, just a heads up, a lot of the university Democrats seem to be openly socialist. Yeah! Which is pog, so you might want to join them. Also, when I introduced myself in our first meeting yesterday as somebody who hated the Democrats, but recognized they're the best bet to combat the lunacy of the Republicans. I got, like, three things in chat saying, Same or mood. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> okay. That's something. Oh my god! Oh, and they're all back! Well, this is terrible. This is the the worst situation. Oh, low battery on the... Oh, that's not good. Didn't know I was playing that one. Didn't realize. I've been toppled again. Who's doing that? Oh, Fiora's down. Yeah, this isn't... This seems, uh, kind of... Impossible. Almost. Yeah, the Gwynry has isn't even, like, to a third of his health, so... Is there only one difficulty outside of the casual mode? There's expert mode! <laughs> but yeah, I am having a tough time of it, so I'm- I am curious if... This is just how things are? Or if there's something I need to be doing better. Like, maybe I... Like, is this is this a notoriously grindy game? I don't actually know. I'll look into the difficulty. Because I don't think I want to go to casual mode. Oh, this is a wrong attack to use. No one had break. And then, and then Shulk inflicts break on everyone. <laughs> Okay, I'm not totally sure what those those uh, quick time things are. Ew, ew. Ooh, shiny. Was that just get stuff? Was that the achievement? Clarity moss. What if I just zoom past you? What if I don't fight you for now? Would that be fine? I do want these chests, though. Okay. Got all those. I'm gonna ignore that until later. Just told Kellen he looks poggers! What is- <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rear entrance, okay, this is where we need to be. Is this where the canisters are? Cylinders, ether cylinders, that's what we're looking for. Okay, not yet, but we're on our way. And there's a heart to heart. Can I do it? No, <laughs> later. Right here. Thanks for the help, Shulk. I'll start collecting them up. You two hold on a sec. It's full of ether cylinders. Hey, why do we have to come all the way here to get them? Good question. Isn't there an ether cylinder fueling station in the colony? Oh god, I forgot they had British accents. I had sweet release and didn't even realize it. Well, Refining the ether takes a long time down there, and sometimes cylinderization fails. Cylinderization. And there are so many cylinders here for us already. It's more reliable than making them ourselves. Hmm. Okay. Right. And Colony 9's anti-air batteries and mobile artillery are standardized for these cylinders, so they can be used straight away. I see. You know, this place is in good condition considering it's ancient. Organizing <laughs> class debate. It might be that there's some form of technology being used to preserve it. It's just a shame we don't understand its secret. 
Shulk? But I'll solve it one day and show you. If it's just technology <laughs> this man's got that someone created in the past, it's not incomprehensible. We'll come to understand it one day. Don't go trying too hard. We can come and get ether cylinders whenever we need them. Besides, it's a good place for defense force training. Yeah, so good that you didn't even want to come here without Shulk to back you up. <laughs> anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, yeah, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Shh, be quiet. Be quiet what? <sighs> Hi. Hello. Are they I don't know. But it looks like we'll have to destroy them. In that case, just leave them to me. Okay. Okay. He responded with, I have never figured out what that means. <laughs> this is fair. I wish I could live in that bliss. ZR up. Focus attacks. Oh, I can tell them which one to focus on. Okay, I can topple this one. Okay, I forgot about those, uh, those party, uh, commands. That's really good. I appreciate that a lot. Is she screaming lacerate? Like, listen, I know that... I know the anime people yell, uh yell their attacks constantly, but LACERATE! Okay, is that one down? Yes. Please attack me. Thanks. Okay, that went shockingly well. I actually expected to have, a, have trouble with that. Are you okay? Here's the thing, the story fights are fine. It's the- it's always the special enemies that are a problem. Like, you need to be a couple levels higher to have any chance. I'm fine. How about you? I'm alright. Thanks to you and Ryan. What on Bionis were those? Please stop saying what on Bionis. Every pony. <laughs> I've never seen anything like them. Like, I get that it makes sense within the world, but it still bothers me. <laughs> Could they have been Mekon? No. I think they were something left by the civilization that built this vehicle. Oh. They Not a defense system me, going wrong? But why did they only show up now? I don't know. But they were probably built to protect this place. They might have been activated in response to something. But I don't think that something could have been us. Okay. Please, let's go back. This is fair. I don't want to be here anymore. This is fair. <laughs> Me neither. And we've already Me neither. <laughs> Sorry, I say neither half of the time, but I would never dream of saying me neither instead of me real me me really me either. Me neither. Fuck. Why does that sound so unnatural? Me neither. <laughs> Of all What's the things to take issue with, what is going on? What is that? That sound. <sighs> In the sky. Oh, oh, it's a. This can't be. No way. Macon. Aparoid. 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 <laughs> Aperoid? Didn't my brother destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the mecha? Let's get back to the colony. Come on. Save. I haven't manually saved even once. That could have been a problem, yeah. 
Does it only have three save files? Yeah, it looks like it. Aperoids were this new threat to Lila. How did Rob know what it was? Oh, it explains that they've like they've encountered Aperoids before in like a small battle. Yeah, isn't this Siren too? It can't be. The mech. One large mech. One large one. I have a feeling I might not be able to complete some of those quests I grabbed. Do a draft now in the next five minutes. Aren't your weapons built for like blowing up debris? What type of mechon is that? I've never seen one like it. You slackers, fire! Shoot it down! Oh no, it's the mini boss from Smash Bros. Well, there it is. <laughs> Hi, Dunkin' Donuts. Hi! Everything's going wild. It's still giving me debuffs. Debuff notifications. Well, what if I was terrible? What if I was just the absolute worst and I cut it right here? We're nearing the three hour mark. It just seems all, it seems epic and, and suspenseful. So, the Mechon are believed to have been eradicated a year ago, so nobody expected a surprise Mechon attack on Colony 9. Shulk and his friends have to get back there as quickly as possible. Thank you, nerds, for joining me. We're gonna finish this, finish this. We're gonna learn what's happening here tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central. More Xenoblade -d 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 Chronicles. I've enjoyed it a lot so far. I've liked it a lot. Um, I can see myself playing this. For, <laughs> I had already committed to it, but I can see myself playing this for for the for for the next good bit. I'm not uh, mad at myself for <laughs> inflicting this. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me tomorrow. We're gonna try and fight back the surprise Mechon attack on Colony 9? I guess? Yeah. Bye, pals. See you later. I think you're the fake hedgehog around here.